Welcome to Excel 2010 Business Math video number 71. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Excel 2010 Business Math Chapter 8, click on the link below the video. Hey, we're on the sheet MOC and MOSP. That means markup on cost and markup on sell price. Now, sometimes you actually need to convert back and forth between percentage markup on cost and percentage markup on sell price. Now, I used to run a boomerang manufacturing company, and when I went to the trade show, I could be talking at one moment to manufacturers and the next moment to retailers. And so you had to be able to switch back and forth. Let's look at an example here. Uh, not a boomerang example, uh, uh, example from uh, a motor company. A small motor company sells to both manufacturers who make compressors and to retailers who sell motors to consumers. If the cost of the motor is 50 bucks and the sell price is $100, find both the markup based on cost and the markup based on sell price. Now, when you're talking, if this is a motor manufacturer, when you're talking to other manufacturers, you're going to be talking in markup on cost. But when you're talking to a retailer, the retailer doesn't want your point of view. They want their point of view. So this manufacturer is both a manufacturer but also sells to retailers. So needs to they, this manufacturer needs to talk in their lingo. So here's the cost and here's the sell price. We can figure out the dollar markup equals sell price minus cost. Now check this out. These dollar amounts are the same no matter what, right, in this situation. Or, or, and our formulas are the same for the dollar amounts. But when we get to calculating percentage markup on cost and percentage markup on sell price, it's the base that's different. So let's do it. Here's the markup. So when we talk to other manufacturers, we're going to need to say for percentage markup on cost, hey, let's compare the markup to the cost. Oh, it looks like 100%. So the motor costs them 50 bucks to make, and they're selling it for 100, so it's markup of 100%, right? They, what's uh, this markup compared to the cost? So in essence, anytime you see markup on cost, you're doubling from cost to sell price, doubling. But that's how it's expressed, because what are we doing? We're comparing just the dollar markup to the cost. All right, now. So the same manufacturer needs to talk to a retailer. So we're going to take that same dollar amount and compare it to not this, but the sell price, 50%. The reason why is because the retailer wants to know for every $1 that comes in their cash register, how much goes to markup and how much goes to cost. Well, we can very clearly see if the sell price is 100 Half of it is cost, and half of it is markup. Now let's look at another example. And I'm going to take, oh, uh, elaborate on this just a little bit and see why. Because it seems so dramatic, right? Markup on cost is 100, but markup on sell price is 50 bucks. Well, let's take markup on cost, 100%. Here's the $20. So the manufacturer goes, I'm going to take equals round. The $20 cost times the markup on cost. Right? So what's 20 times 100%? It's $20. So they're going to add $20 on top of the cost. So when I'm calculating the actual final selling price, so again, manufacturers think of everything in terms of the original cost it costs them to, to make. All right, now. This time, we have the selling price, right? We calculated it from the point of view of the manufacturer. But here, now, we're going to start with the selling price. We know markup on sell price is 50%. So how do we calculate amount of markup? We're going to take that 40 times 50%. And the retailer is always thinking, for every $1 I bring in the cash register, how much goes to uh, markup and how much goes to cost. So here's the markup. $20. When we add the when we go to calculate cost, we take the sell price minus this. Right? So we used two different percentages with two different bases, but we got all the same numbers. The sell price is 40 here and here. The markup was 20 here and here. And the cost was 20 here and here. 
It's all about switching the base. Now let's go over and we want to learn a formula, a formal fo formula for f converting. If someone gives you markup on cost, you immediately want to, without any other numbers, be able to convert to the markup on sell price. So from markup on cost to sell price and vice versa. So we're going to go over to the sheet convert. Here are the formulas. If you are given percentage markup, I'm sorry, if you're given the percentage markup on cost and this is your goal, you want to actually calculate markup on sell price percentage and all your only input is percentage markup on cost there's the formula the converse of that is if all they gave you was the percentage markup on sell price and you want to calculate percentage markup on cost this is the formula so let's try it I'm gonna go from 25 to I don't know what so percentage markup on cost well just look at your formula right the only thing we're given is markup on cost so I'm gonna say equals this divided by 1 plus this. All right, so all I did was look at this formula. So there it is. We are able to just take percentage markup on cost and convert it immediately to markup on sell price. Similarly, if we're given sell price as the input, then our formula looking right here equals this divided by 1 minus. And so now we can go from this to this. Now, why these formulas are true are beyond the scope of, if there's anyone in, that likes algebra, there's the formal proof for uh, those two formulas there. Not, not part of this class, though, but if you're curious. Now, here's where if you really do work in an industry where you have to do both, you might have a table. You know, you're not going to go and jump and do this every time, right? You just want a table of the most common markup on cost, right? So 20, 25, uh, 33 and a third, 50, etc. So we're just going to create a column here with all of our markup on sell price, all right? Our input markup on cost, we take that divided by 1 plus markup on cost. And then Notice those are all relative cell references, so I can copy it down. Now, you can just, you have this table, you print it out, you're at the trade show, someone says markup on cost 20%. You say, oh, look, look at your table, 16.67% for markup on sell price. Uh, 25, that gives you a 20 over here. 100 markup on cost is always going to be markup on sell price 50%. Similarly, you have your table over here. Or if you want to, if you had these as inputs, right? Uh, and you wanted to convert them all to markup percentage markup on cost. I'm going to say equals this divided by one minus this. All right. So if we were to look at markup, we'd look up percentage markup on sell price. Boom. We know it's percentage markup on cost, a hundred percent. All right, uh, that's the end of section 8.2, so you can do your homework, and that's the end of uh, chapter 8. We're just covering two sections. We'll see you next chapter.